NFL Sunday, got off a little bit early from work, so I thought, what the hell, might as well react to last night's shenanigans. When I say last night's shenanigans, I'm definitely talking about Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones Jr., okay? Got a lot to unpack here, but before I do that, welcome back to Championship Rounds. It's your boy Marcel Pierre. I'm ready to fully dive into the events that occurred last night, which were crazy. A lot of them were crazy. I'm going to start by saying shout out to Badu Jack. I think his opponent was undefeated, unheralded, but Jack went in there and won the fight. A lot of people can say, oh, yeah, eight rounder in a fight that he should have won. Okay, but he handled his business. They still have to get their, their hands taped. They still have to put their boots on, put their trunks on, and go out there and deliver. And, and Badu Jack did just that, okay? You can you can say how impressive it was or wasn't. That's completely up for interpretation. Now, the elephant in the room, okay? If you saw the fight last night, you're not coming away from that talking about Badu Jack, even though I like him. Okay, you're definitely not talking about him. You know who else you're not talking about? Surprise, surprise. You're not talking about Tyson or Roy Jones Jr. No, the elephant in the room is Nate Robinson. What were you thinking? And then, my dumbass, I read a tweet from him. And I don't, I'm not going to say it verbatim, but he said something along the lines of, I'm doing this for my family, for my NBA brothers. Blah, 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 blah. I ate it right up. I ate it right up. Thank God I'm not a millionaire. Thank God I'm not very, very wealthy because my bet would have been more than what it was. $10. But still, I don't want to lose my money. So I put a parlay together and I won every single fight. But Nate, something in my head just told me the superior athleticism of Nate Robinson was going to prevail last night. I ignored the fact that the man is 40 plus. I ignored the fact that the Paul kid had the reach, size, youth on Nate. I ignored all of that because this guy's a professional athlete proven. But you know what? Shame on me. How dare me? I should have known better because I've seen People try to cross over to sports, and the majority, the lion's share of them are not successful. James Tony came over from professional boxing, where he was, at the time, the reigning IBO champion. He gets in there with old Randy Couture, and he doesn't throw a punch. He gets ankle picked. He doesn't even get to throw a strike. He, tap, he, says, I, he says, I give. He doesn't even know how to tap out. He says, I give. Embarrassing. People give Conor McGregor all this credit. Oh, he went 10 rounds. He did this. He did that. I watched that fight. There was no pop on Conor's punches. The power did not translate. You can say what you want about the size of the glove, but the power just simply did not translate at all. Okay? There was no pop. He wasn't getting under his punches. He wasn't. Obviously, Conor McGregor isn't 
a professional boxer, but what he is, he's a pretty brilliant mixed martial artist. The two do not coincide, okay? The sweet science is completely different, in my opinion. You have to be well-rounded in MMA, and you have to master the sweet science in boxing. Two tasks that are not very, very tall tasks, not easy to do. And that's why you don't see many people in either sport, for that matter, go on these long, long runs, unless it's boxing, and the shit is padded as fuck. Okay, moving on. So, the fight starts. I almost immediately know that I made a mistake when I put that bet and put Nate Robinson as a part of it. I said, I, I messed up. I did. So, Let me let me just let me just say this before. During the weigh-in, after the weigh-in, Jake Paul had a cryptic message that happened to materialize on fight night for Nate Robinson. I hope he listened to him. I really do. I'm gonna play that message right now. Nate's kids, if you're watching, please don't watch the fight. I don't wanna I don't wanna embarrass your dad in front of you. Please, Nate's kids, don't watch the fight. It's okay. gonna be bad. It's gonna be bloody. Okay. Now in case you missed it, I'm going to show you what happened in the fight. There he is. Ass over tea kettle. Out of there. So, I hope he, he took Jake's advice and said, you know what? I don't want you guys watching this. I've never done this before. Definitely not on this level. You know what? You guys can come to the next one. I got to figure some stuff out right now. I doubt that's what he did because obviously there was a lot of trash talk going on, a lot of arrogance, a lot of, for lack of better terms, testosterone building up, you know? So obviously the guy's proud. He's not going to show that he's afraid of this exchange in the slightest bit. Oh, don't bring my family. Don't bring my kids. No, they're coming. I'm Nate motherfucking Robinson. Okay? Okay, well, I'm just, I don't, I can't speak for Nate, but... Being a professional athlete and all the trash talk that was going on, the guy probably thought his psyche probably said something to him like that. But come on, man. This this fight is dedicated to everybody that thinks Colby Covington, who fights in the M who fights MMA, former interim champion, I don't agree with the crap he said. I don't. But if you don't think that he wouldn't wipe the floor with LeBron James, take last night as an example of what would occur. Now, obviously, LeBron's one of the smartest players ever. He's not going to put himself in that position, and I don't expect him to. I'm just saying for you people out there that look at LeBron, his physique, and his degree of athleticism, and think, yeah, this guy could probably fight and do his thing. No, Colby Covington, a, a lesser fighter than Colby Covington, would Wipe the floor. He would bring LeBron in after wrestling practice and clean the mats with him. Facts. Anyways, so, again, Nate Robinson, ass over tea kettle, laying there like he likes to fuck, face down, ass up. You know, I'm sure Jake Paul was charged. Calling out Conor McGregor now, a lot of shenanigans are occurring. All I'm saying is, Man, Nate, how do you recover from this? The guy told you not to bring your kids. That he was going to do something disgusting to you. And that's what he did. And did you hear Snoop on the, on the, on the broadcast? When he got went down like that? He's like, oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. That is, he, you are, for the rest of your life, Nate. I'm, okay, this, this is the last thing I'm going to say about this. Last thing, because I'm going to move on, cut this video short. The last thing I'm going to say about this, I want to hear your I want to hear your opinion. What will Nate Robinson be more famous for after last night's occurrence? Okay? Will he be more famous for his NBA career, his slam dunks, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, or will he forever live in infamy? For kissing the damn canvas last night. I'm going with the latter. But you know what I mean. If you think otherwise. That's fine. Not going to judge you.
moving on. Main event, which I was very critical of on my last show. I said that it's not really a fight. And you know what? Since then, I saw a release where they said, okay, now we are allowed to knock down. Now we are allowed to knock out. So I was like, okay, maybe we got something here. Maybe it's going to be a real fight after all. I'll eat crow. I'll eat it. You know what I mean? Put some hot sauce on that shit. I'll eat it. Give me the fight. But I was a little bit still skeptical because they added those elements in, but I could, I still couldn't bet on the fight. So I'm saying, oh, well, is this really a real fight? I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt. Then I saw who the judges were. Fight wasn't, apparently wasn't officially sanctioned. The judges were former champions from the WBC. So I'm like, okay, obviously this ain't a real fight. Okay. A fight where Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson clearly won, but they declared it a draw. And why is that? You say to not sully either of the individuals involved because it's an exhibition and they don't want to attach an L to either one of them, even though Mike clearly won. Just like I said, Conor McGregor didn't have pop on his punches. Jones Jr. didn't either. Okay, he did a lot of moving around and throwing that jab out, that look away jab that he was synonymous for in his heyday. No pop. No pop at all. I thought Mike was gassed after the first round. Turns out Jones was. I even texted my buddy. I said, Mike's gassed. He texted me back. He said, what the hell are you talking about? So I clicked, quickly switched it up. I was like, I was talking about Jones. Yeah, I was talking about Mike. Surprise. Anyways. So Mike actually showed me, even though it was, what was it? Eight rounds, two minutes a piece. Mike showed me that, you know, he still got the cardio. You know what I mean? As far as power goes, you know, they say power is the last thing you lose. Power is the last thing to go. Okay. Put this in perspective. Jones has been knocked out What Tony Tarver. And I think some other guys knocked him out too. Anyways, the point is he's been knocked out. Mike Tyson is billed as the baddest man on the planet. Obviously, he's old as hell now. The power is the last thing to go, though. I didn't, I, He caught Jones with some good shots. I can't say that for Jones, but he caught Jones with some good shots. Maybe Jones got a few jabs in there. But as far as power shots go, Tyson caught him a few times. But I didn't see Jones' knees buckle. You know, you could say, oh, well, Jones has got a good chin. Does he? Does he still? All I'm saying is that they can keep this whole Legends League only thing going. That's 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 fine. I'll watch if I if I want to see another another person put themselves out there as a sacrifice to the combat sporting world, like Nate Robinson did. Sign me up, sign me up, because I know that's helping educate the people out there that don't really realize that there are levels to this. Being athletic is great. It's great. Just like if somebody walks into a fight and they're just muscled down. Other person looks like a normal Joe. Surprise. That muscled down figure is not the best figure for fighting. No. It's not the best figure for cardio. So, you know, all I'm saying is that everything doesn't always look as it is on the surface of what's within. Within. Keep that in mind. So as far as this, as far as this Legends League only thing going, Roy Jones sounded a bit standoff on it. Obviously, Tyson wants to get it going. It was his idea. This is who I got. Holyfield wants to get in there. And if it ain't Holyfield, Shannon Briggs. You heard it here first. I'm going to go back to watching Sunday football right now. Championship rounds. See you again next time. Stay fucking frosty. That's what the Marines say.